Hi, this is Phil Royer from Splunk. So today I want to show our two newest community playbooks in Splunk SOAR. These two playbooks are called True Star and Rich Indicators and Threat Intel Investigate. Threat Intel Investigate is the parent playbook meant to operate on all events coming in that have indicators that can be enriched with threat intelligence. And it calls this child playbook called True Star and Rich Indicators, which uses True Star to run a single action across many different indicator types and to gather threat intelligence about those indicators. So this is the analyst queue where events come in and they get assigned to the correct person or team. And from here we can also monitor which playbooks are running. So the newest event that came in actually grabs the analyst's attention with a prompt. Uh, I could respond to the prompt here, but I'm just going to step in to show what the playbook was doing. The first playbook that ran was the one we had just set to active, Threat Intel Investigate. And you can tell that it called another playbook called True Star and Rich Indicators, which is the child playbook in this example. There's only one action here. It's the indicator reputation action. And we actually are using the same action here for various indicator types, which is a difference between this app and other threat intelligence apps, where this makes it easier to write the playbook because we have just one indicator reputation action that can use IP addresses, file hashes, email addresses, Bitcoin addresses, domain names, URLs, th there's any number of others. And I'll show in the playbook inputs which types we can accept. So the playbook has executed, and we can see on the timeline that it, you know, we took in three artifacts here. We called the sub playbook, we created a prompt, and we and an analyst note was written to the event. But let's take a look at the root event. It's excessive usage of a service utility. So that's a Windows event that came out of the MITRE framework and the detection was written by our, our Enterprise Security Content Updates team, the Splunk Security Research team. And we have a file hash that was the executable in this case, some network traffic, and then we actually see that there was an email address associated, and in this case it was, it was part of the executable itself. And so the playbook that ran actually took in this event and, and created a prompt for me to take a look at. So that's my decision point. Given, given these indicators and the tags on them from TrueStar, what action do I want to take for each indicator? So this is a new sort of prompt. It's a dynamic prompt built with custom Python that lists out different options for each indicator in the table. And it sums up all the threat enrichment from TrueStar. So for the first one, TrueStar didn't have anything for that IP address, so I'm not going to take action on it. But for the file hash, it actually came back as Karma and Ransomware. Uh, the threat actor was Karma, the, the, the type was Ransomware. So I'm going to actually block it and make sure that that is uh, reflected in the tags. And then similar from the email address, I am going to block outbound email to that address and any incoming if, if there was, because that, as we'll show, if we're digging into the threat intel, that's actually associated with ransomware as well. And so I'm going to complete this prompt. But the other thing you can note is that if you did want to dig deeper on any of these, you can actually pop open uh, the TrueStar UI and we could take a look at the at any intel that was gathered for each of these things. But at this point, I'm go, I've, I've seen enough to respond to the prompt. I'm actually going to tag the indicators in the Splunk SOAR indicator table as tag to block. And then if we have any playbooks such as a Carbon Black or a CrowdStrike or a Sentinel-1 playbook that can actually block file execution on endpoints, that this tag could be used to trigger those playbooks and manage those indicators in any other process that, that we need. So I'm going to complete that prompt and we're just going to get a little feedback here in the bottom left showing that the tags were applied to the indicators. So in this case for the file hash for example you can see it's marked for block and we also took the priority score out of TrueStar and we tagged it there as well. We tagged the indicator with that priority score as well.
So let's dig into how each of these playbooks actually works. The first one is going to be the parent playbook, Threat, Intel, Investigate. So the first thing the playbook does is it lists out all the playbooks that we have on this system that are input playbooks that have these two tags, Investigate and Threat Intel. And it looks in the local repository, and that's the reason why at the beginning I showed switching it into, switching that TrueStar playbook to local. So once you've set a playbook that is in local and it has those tags, the next thing we're gonna do is, is look for each of the types of indicators that are in the container or the event. So this is indicator collect is the custom function. It just gathers all the indicators and their types. And then we pair the two together using some Python. We take each of the playbooks that we listed and each of the indicators we listed. And anytime there's a playbook that operates on that indicator type, we execute the playbook. The playbook takes in the indicator as an input and it, the output is some notes, a, a note title and a note content. We take those notes, we add them to the event that this playbook is running in. And then we prompt an analyst using a custom prompt, which we showed. And we asked for each indicator in there, which response tag do you want to put on it? We process, we receive the results of that, again, using Python. And then we tag those indicators with the tag that the analyst selected. And if you remember, we had two sets of tags. There were pre-configured tags that the playbook editor can, can set up for the analyst to just click on. And then the analyst can also type in tags that they want. So the second playbook is the child playbook that's called by that launch playbooks block. So let's open that one up here. So this playbook is called True Star and Rich Indicators. And the way it works is it takes as input any number of types that are supported by True Star and Splunk Soar. So these are the types that are listed there. And as Splunk Store adds new custom types, you can drop them in here. For instance, Bitcoin addresses, we don't see a lot of those in Soar, so those aren't here yet, but you could add those if you have them in a custom field. And then we have, so the indicator's input is then passed into the indicator reputation action, which queries the API in TrueStar and gathers back those results that we showed in the prompt. For each indicator that had a result, we are going to tag that indicator with the priority score from TrueStar. So that's nice because a lot of different Intel sources use different fields and techniques for managing the severity or the impact of an indicator being seen in your environment. And so TrueStar actually takes those and normalizes them uh, into a small set of different priorities. Um, and so, so the playbook here is going to just take that priority score out of TrueStar and tag it on the indicator in Splunk Soar. And then finally, we showed that note, which is the same th threat intel enrichment as we showed in the prompt. And so we're building that note here and plugging it in to the outputs of the playbook. So in summary, we created two playbooks. The first is a parent playbook that is going to list out indicators and call any sub playbooks that match the indicator types. The second is an example of one of those sub playbooks and that's using TrueStar to gather indicator enrichment for a wide variety of indicator types. You can find all these playbooks on the community repository page or in your SOAR instance by pressing update from community. If you're interested in learning more about Splunk SOAR, please visit us at splunk.com slash soar. Thank you so much.